Hello fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I am going to be kitting up my Russian houses and I'll stick a picture over here if I remember. Uh, so let's get started. I have already made my stickers. I have put on the number from the kit as well as the DMC number. So those are the numbers that I'm going to be using on my bottles. So you can see they go on top here. Again, they've got the number from the canvas and then the DMC number that I'm going to be kitting up. So let's hope that this kit does not suffer from the horrible static of the last one. So far, so good. I'm actually really looking forward to doing this one. I um, fell in love with this cute little image when I first saw it um, on Amazon and was looking for some small rounds to do kind of in between my other kits. So I've always been fascinated with kind of the Russian skyline, you know, those kind of, um, what are they calling them? Onion skin roofs, where they're kind of funky shapes. Um, and when I saw this, plus it's cute, it's colorful, it's kind of cartoony, and I thought it would make a really good diamond painting. This is um, actually one of the first kits that I bought for myself. Most of the kits, I mean, I've bought all my kits for myself, but what I mean is this is the first one that I kind of have purchased and thought, okay, I want to hang this one up. I've purchased several thinking that I would give them to other people for them to hang up. Um, I purchased several kits for my daughter that I thought she would like that I purchased because I wanted to do them, but thought, you know, she might like this one, so I'll go ahead and get it. I'll get the opportunity to do it. And then if she likes it, I can get it framed for her and it will hang up rather than just being stuck in my portfolio. Um, she has since claimed a couple more. Um, she's got the two that I'm going to, that I bought with her in mind. And then she claimed my latest um, mystery diamond painting. And if you haven't seen the latest mystery diamond painting, I will put a link up in the cards so that you can take a look at it. It turned out really well and I managed to sm snag some pretty inexpensive frames on Amazon. Um, in fact, they were inexpensive enough that I bought four of them at once thinking they, they're the right size. They're 10 by 14 frames, which means they work well for 30 by 40 diamond paintings, which a lot of these small round ones that I bought are the 30 by 40. So I thought I'll go ahead and snag a couple of extra so that if I do another one that my daughter decides she wants, or if, um, somebody else wants it or whatever I've got it or if I want to frame it I can frame it so like I'll probably be using one of them for this one after I get done with it to frame it so that I can hang it up because I like this image um, that was one of the things I've been seeing all over Facebook lately uh, the groups that I'm in that everyone is saying oh yeah they really love diamond painting and they are buying all of these inexpensive kits off of AliExpress and some other places and then getting frustrated when they can't find inexpensive options for framing. So I think it just takes a little bit of looking. I have never been one to go to uh, Hobby Lobby or Michaels to get things framed. If it's a, a really big and it's, you know, like if I had ordered a custom diamond painting or something like that, then I would consider um, perhaps doing that. But 
other than that, I wouldn't pay the prices that those places charge. I mean, you are getting a custom frame, so it's not that their prices are that out of whack with what you would pay for custom frames, but I don't think you always need a custom frame. It is a little bit more difficult, admittedly, living in the U.S. because all of the canvases are sized in centimeters, and so they don't convert nicely into inches when you're looking for something. However, if you can get close enough, and sometimes it does take a little bit of searching, if you get something that is a standard size, then it's a little bit easier and you can find things at Walmart, at Target, at you know those big box stores that would hopefully be a little bit cheaper than ordering them online from some custom place. There are online custom places that you can order from that I have heard good things about. Um, I have heard good things about a website called Frame It Easy for doing diamond paintings. I have heard good things about, oh, what was the one someone was telling me just the other day? Frames USA, I think was the name of it. And the Frames USA, she was trying to find smaller frames for a multi-panel diamond painting. So everything was kind of an odd size, which made it more difficult, but she managed to do it for not huge amounts of money. Uh, someone suggested going to like Goodwills and thrift shops, charity shops, to uh, look at the art there to see if you could find inexpensive frames that are the size that you need. You can take out the artwork and put your own diamond painting in there, of course, with the added bonus, you know, every time I turn around, somebody's got a story about people finding hidden money. Maybe you'll find some hidden money if you buy something from Goodwill or a thrift shop. Um, so there are inexpensive ways to, to frame your diamond paintings. I've also seen people use those, um, magnetic hangers so that you have just their two little boards that kind of clip together. They have magnets that hold them together. You put one at the top that has a hanger attached and then one at the bottom that kind of adds weight to the bottom of your diamond painting to hold it flat. I wouldn't use those personally just because I don't generally seal my diamond paintings. I want them behind glass so that, and it's not always glass either. Sometimes it's, it's like acrylic or whatever, some kind of plastic. Um, because I don't seal mine, so I want them behind glass so that, you know, if something would shake loose at some point, it's kind of compressed in there, and hopefully it won't move around very much. Um, but if you seal your diamond paintings, then of course you can do that. Uh, use the magnetic ones. I've seen um, people say that they take um, duct tape colorful duct tape or masking tape or maybe even washi tape and go around the outside of the canvas so that you cover up the edges where the printing is and then when you frame it even if your frame isn't the exact right size the um, washi tape or duct tape can act kind of like a mat or if you're using the duct tape, you can just use that as a frame and frame it that way. It adds a stability to the canvas and you can hang it up that way. So there's lots of inexpensive options. You just kind of have to get creative. Um, I also saw someone suggest that you just buy a miter box saw and some cheap wood and make them yourselves, which of course you can do. Uh, I happen to be lucky enough to have a brother-in-law who can frame things. So if I want something custom framed, I can um, usually sweet talk him into doing it. But I don't want to ask for favors like that a lot unless I absolutely have to. So like I said, for like these, a lot of these 30 by 40s that I purchased, what I did was go on Amazon and I found 10 by 14 inch frames, which are a little bit pricier than maybe most some, some people want to pay, but um, the 10 by 14 looks like it's going to be a almost perfect size for the 30 by 40 canvases that I have if I want to frame them. And 
Um, I did have to order them online. I ordered them from Amazon just because looking online other places to see if I could purchase them elsewhere. Um, everyone wants to sell you 11 by 14 because here in the US, 11 by 14 is kind of a standard poster size. So finding one that's 10 by 14 was not as easy as I would have liked, but I did manage to find them. I have them bookmarked, so if I want to purchase more, I can hopefully find those same ones and order them again and be ready to go. Now, of course, that's not going to be what I do for some of my larger diamond paintings. Of course, my large DAC canvases that I work on um, will require me to get more specialized canvas or frames. It, but again, it depends on what I'm going to do with them. I have completed several DAC canvases that I just have put in my portfolio, large ones that I'm probably not going to get framed anytime soon. Um, and they're so large that they don't really fit in a big portfolio. I mean, I literally bought, what I'm calling my portfolio for those big ones, what I bought was a bag that's meant to be a carrying bag for people to, to well, it is meant for artwork, but it's also big enough to literally hold a TV. <laughs> so um, I can fit some of my large Diamond Art Club canvases in it till I decide whether they're going to be framed or whether they're just gonna hang on that portfolio. I do have a portfolio book for my 30 by 40s. If I don't want to frame them, I have, I forget what size it is. I think it's A3 if you live in Europe, um, card stock. And then I just put the, um, put some double-sided tape on the back of the canvas and stick it to the card stock. And then it slides into that portfolio. Now I don't, I think I only have two, maybe three canvases in there at the moment because every time I go to put one in there, someone asks if they can have it, <laughs> which is fine. Again, I would rather the diamond paintings be out for someone to enjoy than just be stuck in my portfolio where probably no one but me ever will look at them again. But, um, as a consequence of that, I don't have very many in my portfolio, which I guess is a good thing because that means that I have more room to make more diamond paintings, right? Isn't that how that works? So, um, framing. If you're getting frustrated with framing, try kind of, and I hate this phrase, but thinking outside the box. You know, can you make your own? Can you find some second hand? Can you find some that are maybe not exactly the perfect size, but will work that you can maybe mat the picture to hide that it's not the exact perfect right size or something like that, or find some other solutions like the magnetic frame hangers or something like that um, so that you can still hang out your diamond painting, you know, for you to enjoy if that's what you want to do. I mean, there's a ton of people who are putting a lot of work into these, so I certainly understand being frustrated when it's difficult to find, you know, an inexpensive option to frame them. Um, for example, I know that Frame It Easy, I've heard good things about it, but I also know when I went out and looked for it, um, some of the sizes I was looking at, by the time I paid shipping, I might as well have just gotten a custom frame. Um, and theirs weren't always going to be exact anyway. Um, I mean, and by custom frame, I mean a custom frame locally because it would have been less expensive by the time you add on shipping. That's the other thing about ordering custom frames from someplace online. You know, they're not, frames are not cheap to ship. They're big and they're bulky and they're heavy. So it takes a while. Okay, so if you're looking for framing options, I'm just saying there are framing options out there. So that was number 26. I used up most of my pink stickers. I've got four pink stickers left. 
I didn't think about this. I'm going to have to go back when I recreate my stickers and kind of make them a little lighter in color. Maybe I'll just increase the transparency of them so that you can see what you're writing over them. The pink ones worked out fine. I don't know that it would be as easy to read if I was using the, the purple ones or the green ones. So I'll think about that for my next batch of stickers. But I have everything kitted up now, as you can see. I have all my drills in here labeled very nicely. I didn't have a problem with static. Thank you. And I will be working on, as I said, my little Russian houses diamond painting. I don't know what the actual name of this is. I'll put a link in the description below in case you want to get it. But I, like I said, I saw this image and I just fell in love with it. It's got a little moon, a little tower here. Um, and then it's got all these kind of onion roofs. And you can see the, the thumbnail here. I'm gonna pull the plastic back so you can see it a little bit better. Is that focusing? Focus. You can see the, the thumbnail there. So I'm really looking forward to doing this one. I think it's gonna be really cute. So I am now all kitted up and ready to go. If you like this video, please don't forget to do all the things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching.